A load of bull. Santa Blanca cartel has smuggling operations all over the world, controlled by the dastardly El Invisible. We need intel on this guy to bring his smuggling network down. The only way we can get this intel is by infiltrating his gangs. <coughs> you need to gain enough followers in the cartel by completing missions for them, helping them in their smuggling activities, and trying your skill at the Electro Challenges. You've worked on your cover as a breakneck mercenary. With your skill set and our prep work, this will be a piece of cake. Let's go. So, yesterday I started playing Ghost Recon Wildlands Narco Roads, the first quite infamous expansion to the game, and arguably the inferior one if you don't get the season pack and just want to get one of these then you are going to want to get fallen ghosts because fallen ghosts is frankly put a seriously nice thing i'm just gonna put squad privacy to invite only and then we are going to keep on going with our mercenary here my opinion of Narco Roads so far is that it features some highly unlikable characters and it's not really obvious why I need to infiltrate the gang in the first place. It is also a bit ambiguous about where in the Ghost Recon timeline we are, but I would probably guess we are somewhere before or <clears throat> maybe even at the same time as when the ghosts are in Bolivia. So as you can see I have a G46 and an MSR sniper rifle and this particular daredevil mercenary also seems to be sponsored by 511. I am tempted to just change the outfit but I I kind of do like this outfit, so I don't really see the point in changing it up now. We need to get some more followers in order to... In order to... Um, gain the respect of the gang, and there are several ways to do that. The cartel activities here are the better ways to get many followers. Here you can see our progress and we have one mission left until we can actually do them. I'm just gonna check here for the skills. We always start at level uh, 20 in Narco Road so we have a few skills already already unlocked for us. <clears throat> and apparently we also have a number of different weapons like that. I mean, we could just get the Unidad RPK gun, but where's the fun in that? We can also get the AK-47 Uprising, but like I said, no real fun in that. I prefer to keep the guns I've actually outfitted myself for this task. Now we are going to go to the airspray cartel runway so we can get the last followers we need. I have no idea why I would get followers from doing dust cropping. Think about it. How many accounts do you follow where people do crop dusting. I'm waiting. Name at least one crop dusting account. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Waiting. Now you're probably gonna argue that you are not a cartel member, so of course you're not following in any crop dusting accounts. But that's not the point. The point is, if I'm infiltrating this gang, then I'm most likely doing so out 
to prove my worth to them. Why on earth would I do crop dusting? Sorry, can't get over that. I'm gonna try and get over it as we put down the helicopter and... Preferably more gently than that. It doesn't really matter. It was a one-way trip either way. If we're using the enemy's materials, then at least we can do them the favor of not returning them. Let's do some dusting. Yeah, that sounds cool. I mean, was there no one in <coughs> the Ubisoft office that made this who actually thought, yeah, crop dusting, that sounds cool, that's exactly what we want to do. Because if so, I want to talk to that person. I don't mind a crop dusting mini mission, but if they're gonna do this about the action sports and the daredevil parts of Santa Blanca, then I feel they are missing the point. Ah, great, the game froze again. The game doesn't like me criticizing its expansions, obviously. So we're gonna try and fly in a straight line here in order to get the pesticides over the coca plants. Adjusting course. Just like Beggar's Canyon, back home. We c oh god, no. No, 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 no. We can't stall the plane. It's fairly easy to, all, to stall these planes. But with only one coca plant left to spray, I'm not really keen on failing now. Let's poison the poplars. Here we go. Those coca trees are dusted. Good job. The spray was pesticide. It'll destroy their trees before long. Okay, so we got some more followers. So, apparently this was a undercover mission where I was going to crop their dust and with... Never mind, it doesn't make any sense. Either I did it because I would get followers, or either I did it to destroy their coca plants. But it doesn't seem that the game can actually make up its mind about which one. Maybe I have to do one more of those missions and we'll, we'll see what happens. We're gonna put down the plane here. Because apparently, who's ever in the village next over knows exactly what's in the plane. So, of course, they think whatever is in it is hostile. So now they're hunting me. That doesn't make much sense. Also, I lost track of whatever was keeping track on me, so we better just scale the fence. Oh crap. They know I'm here now. There's a big thing that we can make go boom over there. I mean, this is more like what I would like Narco Road to be. Infiltrate... Infiltrate uh, Santa Blanca and do missions. I mean, it would, if Narco wrote was that you were a lone ghost posing as a mercenary, and so far they, that is actually what it's about. And instead of focusing on the daredevil aspect, it would focus on the morality aspect. I mean, this. Remember the agent, Agent Sandoval. <coughs> what if they had made Narco Roads about how Ricky Sandoval class? Climbed the, right in out. the organization, killing rebels, doing dark stuff as El Sueno's the right hand. I mean, wouldn't that be more interesting? Of course, it would be more interesting. We need to find those animals before Sin Alma do. Okay, so we're gonna protect trafficking animals now, and we, for that, we apparently need to drive in a spe very specific car. To a very specific. Get out of the way, please. To a very specific set of coordinates.
I mean, that wasn't that much of a nice stunt. But apparently we got points for it regardless. So we need to get down there. Let's see, can we... No, I don't think taking a shortcut to that particular place is going to be good for us. But we can... Like I said, I don't mind the infiltration aspect one bit. I do, however, mind the aspect that... Oh, crap, I took the wrong way, didn't I? I do mind the aspect that makes the entire thing focus on driving. Yeah, fuck. We are not gonna make it in time. Let's kill those animals. The ones out of the box. Okay. Why are we killing the animals all of a sudden? If we're killing the animals, what? Why? Ah. I get the point. So apparently we're gonna kill the those who smuggled the animals instead. I mean, did, when did this turn into Far Cry? Also, the guys I'm killing right now looks more like rebels than a rival gang to me. Oh, and since they look like rebels, of course I managed to kill one of them. So the pressure is on. Okay, we just tagged the animals with a beacon. Great, we'll find them and extract them ASAP. Okay, so we need a few more followers before we can... Oh, wait. That guy is one of our allies now. So, I think we're gonna try that Electro Challenge. If we can just get a car there, of course. Like I said, I do not mind the infiltration aspect. It's very interesting to... Almost relaxing, even, to... Scour Bolivia while checking out and working for Santa Blanca. But they had an opportunity with it that they didn't take. And I'm somewhat annoyed with that because... Oh, we're actually going to be provided a monster truck. Nice. I hope Santa Blanca doesn't mind that I actually just takes their probably very expensive helicopter. To just go across a lake, basically. Especially since I don't have any intention of actually returning that said helicopter. Okay, let's see if we survive this. Let's turn off the polka music, because you know what happens. The guys who do the polka dies. We actually did fairly well there. So, new best? I wonder... I mean... <clears throat> okay, so boss mission has been unlocked. I don't know how many followers we gain from that. It's going to be interesting to see. Okay, so now he's following us on social media. For some ungodly reason. Uh, let's see here. We have the king mission. Yeah, now. Right. See what he wants and extort intel out of him. Okay, someone is shooting at us. They can keep doing that if they like. I mean... I... <sighs> if they were going to have a game where you do all these challenges... Look here, here's the Electro Rift, and they, they say my high score is... 38. Fine. I get it. That's what they want to do with Narco Roads. But why on earth is do I not get rewarded the better I do? If I break my own record, I should get more points for it. Uh, or in this case, followers. I should get more followers for more impressive stunts. Because right now you are encouraged to basically just do the stunts in an unimpressive manner. I mean, I haven't done any of those slides in a, a remotely impressive way. But I get 
the same reward for it as if I would have done it in a very impressive way. You get my point. So, for a game that seems to reward you for, or rather wants to reward you for doing cool stuff with your car, it doesn't actually reward you for doing cool stuff with your car. Instead, they just decide that, hey, fuck this. You are gonna get what we want you to get, and not not a cent more. And that is detrimental to the image they wanna sell about Narco Roads being this cool and awesome experience, basically. Nice time, Fuck her. She tells me my views are down, and my social relevance is sinking faster than a turd on the Titanic. But Eddie is not dead yet, oh no. I just need some good old-fashioned kamikaze extreme bravado. You need to get me a plane, friend, though. And I know just the one. It belonged to me, that officer, who stole my fucking stash once. Get it for me. But don't just sneak and steal. Make some fucking noise! Are you fucking serious? Credit, and we will start our ascent to immortality, yes? That is for Eddie, who says I shouldn't sneak. So of course we're gonna sneak. This is the camp, friend, though. Don't wait for introductions. Make some big fucking noise! I rather not. I am alone, and this is one of the largest bases uni that have in the province. So why on earth should I make you know, noise to, to appease you? Fucking awesome, yes? But they ain't your friends, buddy. Destroy I kinda know that. Or they will destroy you. I'm fairly certain that's not a word. Also, I just got an explosion alert that wasn't actually related to me. We're close to getting the information we need. That is highly annoying. Oh crap. I got two things to deal with right now. And I need to check on... Yeah, there we go. Ah, it was a false alarm, never mind. I have switched recording. Uh, recording uh, settings, meaning that my videos now take a lot more... Uh, more m memory. So... Okay, so let's blow this shit up. Is and in place. So I got an alert that I was running low on memory, and fortunately it did not relate to the recording of this stream. If it had, I would have... Oh crap, they're firing at me. up a flare. Eyes out. Let's see if that works. I would like to place down a few mines too, but sadly, as long as the... We're down. Keep it moving. Uh, crap, they're coming up behind me. Never mind the fact that uh, the SAM launcher I just, literally just blew up is back online. I mean, I haven't actually stepped away more than a hundred meters and it has, and it has respawned. Fuck that. Let's hit the tower. Let's see. No sniper, what I can see. No sniper. There's a helicopter, we need to shoot it down. Okay, so now we need to find our way up into the upper base. If I'm going to be terribly honest about it, I would really like to have just taken the attack helicopter. 
Switching to sniper rifle. Judicious marksmanship will be used to take this guy out. Down he goes. Sweet. Well, the nice thing about hitting the different unit at bases is that I will be able to disengage now and hopefully yeah, we need to disengage soon before Unidad decides it is a very good idea to just send someone to cap my ass. To that effect, will I put on our suppressor and try and exfiltrate to the next objective? Actually getting up there will, however, be a bit more tricky. I wonder if I actually can take the attack helicopter. I mean, what would be the harm in trying? All we have to do now is double back and see about, see about it. I lost track of the attack helicopter. Wait, there it is. I need to blow you up first. Right. Let's see if we can do, can do this. I mean, it's obviously the fastest way, so... Lock on target. Enemy spotted. Yeah, that didn't work. In fact, it might have been a horrible idea. Readjust. Oh, wait, I, I actually got it. It was just that it never actually registered. Fire! That's number three. It actually works. Nice. Number four. Fire. We got it. Now we can put down next to Eddie's plane. I don't know why he wants that particular plane. But he, he's not very wise about it. Of course, the rockets are lagging. We are gonna have to engage this guy from a different dang. Oh, come on! We can't fire too close to that plane or we're gonna destroy it. Targeting the barrels. Let's take out these, this guy once and for all and then will steal the planes ready. Should be clear enough. Now we'll have to fly the plane too ready. Simple enough. At least I hope so. This is the place with all the SAM launchers, remember? And despite having destroyed all the SAM launcher, they instantly reappear now get her to me i gotta get high any way i can every way i can quick as i can i mean if you're gonna make a mission out of me stealing the base uh, stealing the plane out of the base couldn't you at least have put some effort into making sure that the SAM launchers would not respond during the mission. Anyhow, I'm glad I didn't have to take out the SAM launchers on foot because that would have been fucking tedious. So we're, we're heading up. Oh wait, there's an acrobatics thing there, but I'm, I'm not really keen on 
flying through it now. Instead, we are going to get up to Eddie. And hopefully we can put a shot through his... Whatever he uses for a brain. I think the word is penis. But... I can't be certain and I'm, at some point I'm afraid to find out. Okay, actually landing this thing might be tricky. This is a very short runway, extremely short in fact. It's so short it shouldn't even be an, an actual runway. Okay, so now we're gonna get Eddie onto the plane. Where the hell are you going? You cannot dumb me now. I have stayed twice as long as my contract said I should. That is because you love Eddie, yes? No. It is because you agreed to build a donkey sanctuary in my hometown. And so I shall. The first, I have an appointment with the big blue yonder. Up, up, and away! You are full of drugs, you silly tool. You cannot fly a plane. Don't worry, my beauty. Friendo is flying the plane for me. Oh, how nice to see your little soldier of fortune once again. He will take care of Eddie, yes? Don't worry. Gods like Eddie, they're immortal. That is true! Eddie Escobaro will always be smiling down at everyone. I like the fact that my operator is basically just inspecting her weapon. Like, I wonder if I'm gonna use this to shoot Eddie now, or if I'm gonna use some other tool that's gonna hurt more. Okay, friendo, take me up to heaven and make me look good, or you'll be flying a cargo plane full of rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong. If you're gonna steal jokes from Top Gun, at least steal the good ones. I don't want any free flying, you hear me? I don't fucking want it. We are being watched, always. We are being watched and listened to. We got to entertain. Give people novelty. Give them kindness. Give them cruelty. No prisoners. Do a barrel roll. See, that is a good joke. Okay, so apparently I would at least they're not doing any of the GTA shit where I ha actually have to do some very tricky flying instead of satisfied with just doing a bunch of rolls. The world will forgot Eddie as soon as I put a bullet in his head, and if they ever remember him, it's going to be because they will laugh at the fact that he's dead. Okay, so jump from plane. Check. We can do that. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? It says jump from plane, and now it complains that I left the mission area? For real? Okay, so now it complains I left the mission area again. Uh, apparently I just triggered another count down. I hope it's a cutscene loading and I don't have to do that shit all over again. Because if I have to break into that base again, I'm going to be annoyed. Then again, it's an awfully lot of low. Oh, it was a cutscene. That's not the weapon I brought up. Not like this. You owe me that. Don't. Welcome to the ultimate eye, people. I watched it a lifetime event. Immortalization. 
is only using 30 FPS? Fucking casual. That's why no one ever comes back. Couldn't we just have this shot him instead? Has ended. I mean, I wanted to shoot him. I really wanted to shoot him, and that is how they go out. I mean, why go through the motions of setting up a very... That information you got us will help narrow the field. But we're gonna need more details to actually identify El Invisible. Try approaching another of the individuals we vetted for you. I have to question why they would actually bother with putting on such an annoying villain in the game and then just not let us shoot the guy. Of course, I do approve of the position they put him in, but the problem is Eddie would also approve. So, there's one thing we need to do now. We need to confirm the kill. Okay, so next area is either the Death Riders or uh, the, the Locos. I think we're supposed to take them in turn, so we might as well do that. Uh, up in Bashavasos. So, I'm trying to figure out where the hell to go, but we can just do, do the fast travel. I don't see any point in us doing the non-fast travel. And onwards we go! I have to say that based on the first part, Narco Roads does deserve its poor reputation in the Ghost Recon community. Because as much as I understand the design philosophy behind Narco Roads, I feel that it is ill-placed. Ubisoft have Watch Dogs 2 for this kind of shit. Watch Dogs 2. You made an entire pretty damn good game! Real Santo Marte territory now. Almost everyone you meet is under the good lady's spell. So presume Arturo already knows you're there. And remember, we've information that one of his drivers boasted that Arturo personally couriered a delivery for El Invisible two weeks ago. Try to find out where that package got sent. Okay, so a religious motorcycle club. This sounds awfully familiar. Let's see here. I think that for this region, we might actually put on a costume. We're not gonna put on the sensible costume, because the sensible costume looks like fucking shit. Uh, we might actually do with the Division, but the Division is a bit more dressed up. Of course, we could put on the Rebel Lead there, or we could just do the Santa Blanca outfit and cover our face. But that would also be bad. And the Unidad outfit is really nice, but I don't really approve of the gas mask. We could do Ghost Recon, or we could just have no none at all and just keep up this look we had so far I think we're gonna go with that we are gonna upgrade some of our skills and let's see here where we're supposed to go we're supposed to Arturo's bar Arturo Ray is deluded and dangerous making him trust you will be a challenge go meet him at his hideout some biker joint with an unpronounceable name Thankfully, we can fast travel there, too. I mean, with the kamikazes, it, the entire gimmick of attracting followers on social media was... You could understand where they were coming from, but if these guys are a religious biker gang, why would they care what you do on social media? What they should care about is your devotion to Santa Merte. And 
once again, I really want to point out that this expansion would have been far more interesting had it focused on how Sandoval, how Ricky Sandoval uh, infiltrated Santa Blanca to begin with. I mean, you would have... You would have more about the El Sueno lore. You would have more about the evil stuff Santa Blanca does on a regular basis and stuff like that. The only thing this, the first part of this mission has done, this expansion pack has done so far, is to try and portray Santa Blanca as cool people. Or more to the point, what... PR people seems to think people think is cool. Okay, so they're praying to, to some kind of dead body here. At least that is more along the Santa Blanca part. So let's talk to this guy and see what he wants of us. Cousin, I am Arturo, leader of the Death Riders and one of Santa Muerte's most humble servants. I know who you are, my friend. You have a reputation as a killer, a bringer of death who does not ask questions. I personally believe that the Holy Lady has sent you to us to help our cause. But first, I need you to demonstrate this wrath that brings you to such prominence. A rival organization, Los Sin Alma, has been causing us much trouble. It is time they were shown what happens to those without a soul. Take a vehicle, ride it to their camp, and make a spectacular entrance. Like an angel of death descending upon filthy apostates. Once you have done that, execute every motherfucking last one of them. Couldn't I just start with the entire execute every single one of them part? Why is the vehicle part necessary? Okay, so we need to get up to whatever the hell that is. And I think the best way to simply destroy every single one of them is by getting a new that helicopter. However, I think it just spawned poorly. So, let's see if the rotor blades hit the statue. No. We're good. You see, El Bosso, or what the hell you... I think the proper term would be Hell Café or something like that. I, I don't know Spanish. Uh, but I have read a clear Empress of Danger where the term El Café is, is uh, explained upon. So, now we're gonna kill their gang members and we have a helicopter. So far, so good. Let's see if this gang of theirs has a SAM launcher. So if they don't... All we'll have to do is have a lot of fun. For some reason, the rockets are not very keen on exploding today. But once the rockets land, this is... A bit too easy. Yes, take cover, you. Take cover, I have plenty of rockets to blow you out of this. Well, ground with. Half of the enemy has been destroyed. Let's find the other half. It took them this long to understand that they were taking fire from a helicopter? Also, I would like to point out the fact that uh, there are 24 rival gang members. So why on earth do the Santa Blanca cartel, who is actually pretty damn powerful, have a problem with them? Taking the shot. They clear. Oh, <coughs> when of course he survived that. 
Let's take out the last guy. <laughs> you are an expert slayer of the wicked. But there is oh, for you to do, is. brother. The soulless ones. They have taken a precious motorcycle of ours. Please, find it and bring it back to me. Santa Muerte will smile upon such a righteous... Right thing. now you're just bullshitting me. Breach and clear. Motorbikes are everything. Get Oturo's wheels back and get with the program. Literally. Oh, we have to find all. I don't never like this cave. Not in the first mission, and certainly not now. <laughs> Need to run fast. Kill everything in our path. Ah, crap. It's not going to be this bike. I know it. It would be too easy if it was. Yeah, that's not it. This metal has a coca plant on it. It's kind of cool. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's pick up one of their AKs. That way, they'll might they might actually think they're under attack with one of their own. Besides, we use one of their AKs, and ammunition will not be a problem. See if we can't find that bike. Well, that's not it. It's going to be the last bike we find just to mess with me. How do we know the code? If I had a dollar for every collectible behind a locked door... Someone must know the code, right? It's a quality bike. I'd start bending arms at the top of this pile of bandits and work your way down. Why do I get the feeling we, we have already killed the guy? Target destroyed. Let's keep. Oh crap! They don't like me. Oh crap! No 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 no! <sighs> Frustrating as shit. Alright, so at least we can start over from this point. We got our G46 back. Apparently we did not get to pick the AK. I don't really mind. The G46 is a sweet gun. Keep it moving. Fairly certain we need to get down there.
Now we need to watch our fire. We can't kill the lieutenant. Charge. Come on, show your head. Thank you. That guy looks like he knows his shaft drive from his throttle lock. Frag out, get some. Grenade out. <laughs> oh, come on. Why did there have to be people turning up behind me? At least I'm doing what I feel I should be doing. It's not none of that nonsense with spray coca plants or drive the car here this is at least god to honest combat and as long as that's what i'm doing i can't really be mad at it d50 native scorpion visible region wilderness i'm thinking about switching up my guns a bit i could go for the scorpion actually there are six scorpion It's a bit more of a of a uh, close quarters weapon. So, oh crap! And apparently, someone decided to give it a semi-automatic and a burst mode. Why? I have no idea. I mean, just keeping the full auto would have been. A Far superior. That said, this weapon on burst mode is not bad. Let's regain our health and move up. Oh crap, if he, if he hits that barrel, it's all over. But I'm gonna switch back to my G46. I'm just gonna switch out some parts. Like, we're gonna switch out the scope. We might actually do the polymer BU's scope. And I think we're gonna put on the suppressor, shorten down the barrel a bit, make it... Switch it from a K to a C, and... Keep using... I mean, the nice thing about the iron sights is that they give you... They give you a very decent... Oh crap, more of them. You know what? I'm kind of sick of this. So, I'm just gonna put a pause to it here. I had a rough day, and sitting here... <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry LP Mitron, I just closed down my chat client because I was keeping misclicking in the corridor, and yeah, I'm playing the DLC, and I'm not really, not really enjoying it, if I'm going to be all that honest about it. So, sorry, you kind of jumped into this early, because... I'm trying out... <laughs> Sorry. I promise you it's not intentional. I mean... Yeah. But if you like, I can actually play with you. Uh, I don't want to play Narco Roads anymore, but if you want to play Ghost Recon Wildlands, I'll just log into my main character. We'll play from there. Because that is a lot funnier than this fucking shit. I mean, if you're gonna get a uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands DLC, this is not the one you should be getting, okay? 
That's just my opinion about it after, let's see here, two hours into this shit. So I'll relog, I'll, uh, we'll get on some voice, and that is a far superior Ghost Recon Wildlands experience. So catch you soon, LP Metron.